All right, so today's video I want to dedicate to my Xbox viewers. What is going on, guys? Big Cloud Gaming here, back again. Now, I did promise the Xbox side, guys, that I would do a video if something legit relevant and worthwhile talking from the Xbox community was worth making a video over, and today's video is definitely worth it. So, for all those that missed my last videos, um, they're on the channel. Uh, excuse me, I didn't make a video yesterday because I just had, I was literally was busy, so... That's what's going on there, so excuse me about that. But anyway, we're here. We're back on the channel. Shout out to everybody in the chat. And uh, let's just go ahead and cover this, okay? So Xbox Lockhart is officially back in the spotlight again. Now, the last time we talked about Lockhart, it was actually uh, supposedly dismissed by Microsoft. They weren't going to do it, and it was just going to be strictly Anaconda for the next-gen Scarlet. And obviously, Scarlet was going to go against PS5, which is Prospero. That's the name of PS5. So next gen next year is going to be pretty you know just head to head for the most part well according to the verge and according to um game rant and a lot of other um news outlets microsoft is actually going to be coming out with lockhart regardless so lockhart is indeed going to happen now according to um the specifications here lockhart is going to be targeting four teraflops and is going to be running on the same um infrastructure obviously as the um or i'm sorry architect architecture as the scarlet but it's going to be a scaled down version it's going to be targeting 1440p gaming and of course it's going to have an ssd so that's what they're going for with lockhart they also give you an they give you a little tease of what maybe um, anaconda is really targeting and that's 10 teraflops so they're suggesting that 10 teraflops is the um the true like graphical leap microsoft is heading for with anaconda and I, obviously sony's going the same route with theirs the question is who's going to have the more powerful whatever in those regards and again that's just going to be a matter of speculation until we get to the actual specifications and of course the games on screen but aside from that that's what's going on with the uh anaconda portion so they're go supposedly going to go for 10 teraflops but to continue with uh lockhart again 1440p gaming they're talking about maybe it possibly will have deals like game pass tagged in game pass uh yeah game pass tagged in um you know whatever else me personally, after looking at it, you know, the specifications, I don't see nothing wrong with this. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself, how much is it really going to be if they're really going to go with this? Also, a another little side note for this Lockhart system is diskless. So that means that it's going to be just like the Xbox Sad Edition. And it was funny. We talked about this. Remember I said this before, back when I did a rant on this, I said the Xbox Sad Edition was just grooming you up for what the Xbox One X was going to Or not the Xbox One X, but the Xbox uh, um, Scarlet was going to be. Like an option-wise, a diskless one. I said this loud and clear, and there you go. It's right in front of you. So that's what they're going for it's going to be discless looking at the situation as is again i don't know how to react to this whole discless i really don't know how to react to it because it's like how much is it you know how much is it 1440p gaming so what are you targeting a 300 dollars price range are you targeting the 200 because i'm telling you right now if you charge 400 dollars for a lot cart and then you charge another 500 for anaconda it's kind of pointless to me it kind of brings us back to the PS3 gen. You guys remember the 20 gig and the 60 gig PS3? One was 600 and the other was 500. It's like you're not really doing that much justice when you have that big of a, you know, that that type of thing. I don't see much here. But again, it could be three. I don't know. I, I don't even want to speculate on this. I really don't. I don't. I don't because I don't even know what to really expect. And another thing I take into account, too, was Black Friday. Black Friday was actually pretty good for Microsoft, right? really good for microsoft and with black friday sales supposedly microsoft actually beat sony this black friday so with sony losing to microsoft this black friday then that means that obviously the xbox sold some consoles so you mean to tell me you're gonna have two units again another two units and this has been a trend with microsoft more hardware than software these are things you gotta look at man again it's not a rant it's not me taking jabs it's just me going off of what's been shown okay Black Friday's over. We know people bought some Xboxes. They've either bought the Xbox One X, they bought the Sad Edition, whatever. So they bought those just now. Next gen starts. We have two more options. That's a lot of hardware out there on the market, people. It's a lot of hardware. We have Xbox One X, Xbox One. Um, we have Xbox One Sad. We're going to have Xbox Scarlet or, or Anaconda and Lockhart. That's five systems out there on the market automatically. Five. And we're not counting the OG Xbox One because those have been uh, discontinued. So I, I don't know what to tell you. 
You know, I don't know what to tell you. That's just a lot to take into consideration. Just, just say it. A lot to take into consideration. Not throwing gloom or doom and gloom at them. I'm just being observant. Okay. But to end this video on a positive light, Phil Spencer put out a tweet. He claims that he has the Xbox Scarlet at home. He's playing it right now on his new Elite Series controller. Obviously, he had to sell the controller. <laughs> He's playing the consoles right now. He's saying it's great. Oh, everything's great. You know, Everything's running good. So, now that he's playing it, obviously, we can all put the rest at the whole, oh, the specifications aren't finalized uh, talk to rest. The specifications are, are finalized, guys. What the problem is, Microsoft's being very tight-lipped about everything. And that's actually smart in this current time. You guys already know how Sony did. Sony put out one tweet, and the internet was just in, in fire. You know what I'm saying? They were, in, they were interrupting in flames right there because that's how much traction that one tweet got out there for PS5, and we all covered it, Okay. Microsoft is being very tight-lipped on Anaconda and, of course, Lockhart. So, therefore, the information we're going to get in terms of finalization, power, all that jazz will be next year. But that's all we got to go off of. So, just throwing it out there. All information will be in the description below under sources, like always. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Big Cloud Gaming. I will see you on the next one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be recapping everything on the channel, even the videos that I didn't get a chance to make. Sorry about yesterday. Just lost track of time. But um, I'll definitely make up for it with you guys with the crew tomorrow on the RGD Podcast. Can't wait. Until next time, this is Big Cloud Gaming again. I will see you guys on the next one. All of you be blessed, be easy, and also follow me on twitch.com slash bit, uh, bit underscore cloud gaming. Yes, we made a, officially made a Twitch channel for the uh, channel here, and I'll be uh, going through a lot of games on there as well, okay? So I'll see you guys over there as well. But yeah, again, y'all be blessed, y'all be easy. I'm out of here. Later. <laughs>